Welcome to the fourth section in this course on SvelteKit for Beginners. In this section, we are going to learn about the different page options. It might already be evident from our section on data loading, but let me tell you, by default, SvelteKit renders a component on the server before sending it to the client as HTML. It will then render the component again in the browser to make it interactive in a process called hydration. So a button might have loaded, but would not be clickable. Hydration is what adds interactivity. But this behavior of first rendering on the server and then in the browser to make it interactive can be controlled using a few page options in SvelteKit. The options are SSR, which stands for server-side rendering, CSR, which stands for client-side rendering, and finally, pre-render, which simply means to render in advance of sending to the browser. Typically, this happens during build time. In the next video, let's understand how to specify CSR and SSR options and how they affect the rendering of a page. We will then follow that with pre-rendering, which has a few extra scenarios we need to be aware of. I'll see you in the next one.